welcome back to my YouTube channel, Louise's Bookish Adventures. This month, I will not be having an August wrap up because I didn't finish one book in August. I think I'm just like in this weird reading slump, but hopefully next month I'll have a few books for you uh, to talk about that I finished. For this video, we're doing a book haul. I've got quite a few books. I've been to Barnes & Noble like three times recently. And Saturday was uh, Independent Bookstore Day and I really wanted to go out there and support the independent bookstores that managed to survive uh, COVID. So let's get into the book haul. Um, the first book was A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I bought this on Independent Bookstore Day. I've always wanted to find a really nice copy. Um, I love this store and I love reading it during Christmas time and watching uh, the movie adaptations during Christmas time. And for those that don't know what the story is about, it follows Ebenezer Scrooge who hates Christmas and all he cares about is making money to the point where his employee, Bob Cratchit, is forced to work on Christmas Day so that on Christmas Eve he can be with his family. And in this story, uh, Bob Marley, his former partner, comes back as a ghost to warn him that three ghosts, uh, ghosts of Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future, are going to visit him in order to teach him that it's important to be kind to people and to love Christmas and giving. And by the end, he learns his lesson and, you know, he becomes a completely different person. And I think it's just a great Christmas story that brings people together. And I hope to read it over and over again to the point where this copy becomes like, you know, really worn out because of how many times I read it. So, yeah, definitely happy about this purchase. Next was Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. I also got this on Independent Bookstore Day. I love this story. I've read it multiple times and it follows a young girl who um, befriends a pig named Wilbur and she loves this pig and it's her best friend but she lives on a farm and what happens to pigs after a while is that they grow up and then they are killed in order to feed a family and in order to try to save this pig Wilbur meets Charlotte, a spider, who makes it seem like he's this amazing pig by like writing words into her web, hence Charlotte's web, in order to save Wilbur from getting killed for food. So I think it's just a beautiful story and I love it. And this has like colored pictures in it and everything. And that's why I bought this copy specifically. And I hope, you know, like my future children will be able to enjoy this book as well. Next is Circe by Madeline Miller. I've heard amazing things about this book and it follows Circe who is not as powerful as um, her parents. So she decides to go to earth and becomes a witch and she has this ability to have magic. And Zeus becomes so threatened by her that he banishes her to an island where she eventually meets Odysseus and all the other famous um, mythological uh, people in you know, this world. So uh, I've heard amazing things and I'm excited to read it. And yeah, I cannot wait to get into this. Um, the other book I got is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. And if I was Achilles and I believe Pat Patroclus, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, Patroclus who become friends and Patroclus was banished from his home for doing a violent act and they become friends. But then uh, Helen of Sparta gets kidnapped and they have to invade Troy uh, in order to save her or in her name. And, you know, Achilles decides he wants to go. So Patroclus being his friend goes with him despite being afraid for his friend. So I'm really excited. You know, I do like mythological stories. Uh, maybe after this, I'll read some of Rick Riordan, who does a lot of mythological stories. But I've heard great things about this as well. And it was a winner of the Orange Prize for Fiction. So, you know, hopefully this becomes like a five star. After that, I got Boundary Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. The reason I bought this is Bruce, uh, Reagan from Peru's Project loves this book as well. And I was really interested and I really like her, the book she reads and I value her opinion. So I wanted to give it a shot. And it follows Sancia Grado, who is a thief. And she's tasked to find this like um, 
this object that has power and it's going to revolutionize magical technology but this group called um this group of merc ruthless merchant houses control this type of magic uh desire to get rid of her and steal the object so she has to like become allies with different people in order to save herself and this object and i'm really excited to read this i'm i want to you know get into this world and i'm trying to read more like adult fiction or adult fantasy so i'm hoping this is a great step into that uh next i got capturing the devil by carrie maniscalco it is the last one in stalking jack the ripper series i was waiting for it to come in um paperback so i can complete my collection and you know uh finish the series before the next one comes out will i probably not but at least I'll have the whole thing and be able to read it back to back. Uh, next, what I actually got today, August 31st, is the unofficial Harry Potter character Commendium, Muggle Nets Ultimate Guide to Who's Who in the Wizarding World. I have the unofficial spellbook and the unofficial cookbook, so when I saw this, I had to get it, you know, to find out who all the characters are, and it discusses, like, the different schools and all that stuff, so I was excited to see it, and my best friend who was with me, Karen, uh, she was like, why are you discussing this? Like, you're definitely gonna get it, and she was definitely right. I did decide to get this, and it has, like, all the different characters, even characters I've never heard of, so I'm excited to go through this and see what's on here, or in here. The next book I got was also today uh, by Robert Jordan. It's called New Spring in the Beginning. It is, I guess, book zero in the Wheel of Time uh, series. And I don't know much about this, but I also got the Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. Um, this is the first book in the Wheel of Time series. It's called The Eye of the World. And it says, the Wheel of Time turns and ages come and pass. What was, what will be, and what is may yet fall under the shadow. Let the dragon ride again on the winds of time. I don't know what this is about, but again, um, Reagan is going to start this series as well. So I decided to pick up the first one and see if, see if I like it. There's like 15 books in the series, which I like. And, you know, if, if I like finish the whole series, like it's going to look beautiful, like on my bookshelves. So I'm really excited to get into this. Again, I'm trying to get into a more adult fantasy sci-fi. So I'm hoping, you know, I managed to do that. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this. Next is vicious by b.e schwab this follows victor and eli who start out as college roommates and their best friends and they think about this they start to theorize about like near-death experiences and how like abilities arise from that and they start realizing that maybe someone under the right circumstances can obtain supernatural abilities but then their thesis moves from like experimental experimental, and that's when things can go wrong. So I've heard amazing things from the series and I love B.E. Schwab. And this is the last series by her that I have not read. I actually have another one, but I own it. I just haven't read it yet. So this is the last one that I do not own, uh, except Near Witch, but I heard that one was not great. And it was like her very first. Book, so I think I'm just gonna pass on that one and then of course there's a new one coming out soon uh, but yeah I'm really excited to read this and see what the all the hype is about and then I got Vengeful by V.E. Schwab which is the sequel and I don't want to read like anything on the back because I want to you know be completely surprised and shocked but I heard this one is just as good as well and I'm really excited to read this as well so that is all the books I got I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven books in august now this is it like i'm not buying any more books myself with my own money i'm waiting until christmas and i have a list of books that are coming out that i really want to read and want to buy so yeah this is hopefully the last haul i will make for myself and the next one will be a christmas haul um until then you know i'll do other videos like wrap ups tbrs um I'll also do like a at most anticipated fall releases and things like that. So um, yeah, this is that's it. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.